Hi, Stanford, Connecticut. Dr. Brenda Sloven here from YourMigraineDoctor.com. I'm a local chiropractor and migraine specialist located in Norwalk, Connecticut. Headaches are totally a nuisance and are largely structural in nature. Migraines, they're a bit of a beast. They're different. They are a neurochemical disorder that is often a symptom of something much, much bigger. Every person is different, gets migraines for a different reason, and as a result, responds differently to different treatments. Today, I wanted to go over the single easiest change that you can make on your own at home without help from a single doctor. Certain foods we know are instant migraine triggers. Food allergies and sensitivities play a huge, tremendous role in migraine treatment. At the end of the day, what you eat makes a difference. Another challenge with migraine is that not every migrainer is sensitive to the same food. So there's really no blanket statement about what food works for everyone. Although different people will tolerate different foods differently, there is a short list of three foods that absolutely every migrainer must avoid starting today. Sticking to this list has made a tremendous difference in the lives of my patients over the past decade. So here you go, Stanford, Connecticut. Let's avoid another migraine. Start removing these foods out of your diet right away. Number one, the bad oils. This is your partially hydrogenated and hydrogenated oils. These are not real oils. They've been chemically altered. They do nothing for your health health, zero, nothing. These are unfortunate oils. They are used in the grocery stores and prepared foods, in the restaurants and their prepared foods. Bad fats and bad oils like these block the functions of the good fats. The good fats are there to build uh, tissues like cells and nerve wall membranes. You need that stuff. So if you read something on the label that says partially hydrogenated oil, put it back on the shelf, find something else to eat. You don't need to eat that. There's other food to choose from. Number two, avoid junk food. All junk food. It's difficult. I know sometimes we're accustomed to this kind of a diet or we're running. There are a great number of problems that exist with eating junk food or fast food Fun, uh, junk food contains lots of artificial sugars and fats and white flour, and more often than not, these are just really poor, low-quality ingredients. They have zero nutritional value, and really, junk food is just not food at all. And number three, last but not least, is gluten. More than half of all my migrainers have a gluten sensitivity. You may not know it. You may feel perfect. You may have had every allergy test out there, but you can still be sensitive to gluten. Just remember, there are huge amounts of shades of gray that exist between having absolutely no sensitivity at all and being flat out allergic to something. It's not black or white. Because your body's always in that heightened state of alarm, you don't know what that pasta is doing to you. You don't know what that bread's doing to you. You don't know what that gluten's doing to you. It might just make that migraine hang around for another two days. So if you're unsure whether or not gluten is part of the problem, try for one month, just one month, no cheating. Try removing gluten completely out of your diet. No wheat, no rye, no barley, nothing see what happens. If you feel better after a month of being gluten-free, guess what? You have a gluten sensitivity. I don't care what the allergy tests have said. Removing gluten out of your diet permanently makes such a tremendous dent in how you feel on a daily basis. It can stop the migraines entirely. So it can even reduce your chances of having even major disabilities later in life. Just because you suffer with migraine doesn't mean you're doomed to a life of pain and misery forever. Try eliminating these three foods out of your diet for simply one month. I know you can do this. Don't wait. Just start now. I'm Dr. Brenda Sloven from YourMigraineDoctor.com. If you found this information valuable, please click the like button and share it. Also, tag a friend that you feel needs to hear this. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, bye-bye.